And uh, our guest this morning is Dr. Ade Dukumbo Pierce, former member uh, PDP National Presidential Campaign Council, and that's apart from uh, being the convener of Reset uh, Lagos PDP. The question of how well you are doing, that is your party is doing, as an opposition, uh, you've heard people say that, even though they say, look, first of all, I'm you know, not a PDP member, and I'm quite happy, quite frankly, with the problems that PDP is having, <laughs> is having. But there are places in which PDP has been found uh, missing in action, namely playing the opposition role. Uh, how would you plead on that particular question? You see, the way people evaluate situations is usually clouded in their experience. For instance, when people say PDP is not doing this, is not doing that, you forget that this is a different era we have now. There will never be another Lai Mohammed. No, that was a classic case of media control and manipulation to the point. Lai Mohammed won the election in 2015 for APC because of the way he managed the media. And that's another problem in PDP. I know Dalai Mohammed because I know him and I know the president, I know Tinubu well. I know Dalai Mohammed didn't do that by himself. Mm -hmm. Tinubu is a master of the media. So the, imagine the leader himself involved in, I know the kind of things that they gave Lai Mohammed, the support they gave him, the advice they gave. It was like, this was the whole thing. But the leader was able to cooperate and contribute in the party now, in the PDP, we don't have such a system. Okay. And I'm saying this because I hope people listen. These are things we have to develop. Because I learned a lot from working in APC that, look, there are some things you just have to do. For instance, the National Public Secretary of the PDP is doing a lot of work. Okay. But he doesn't have the kind of support and resources, both material and immaterial, that he needs to do what Eli Mohammed did. By the way, we are going to do that now for 2027, I guarantee you. Because I was going to ask... That's the only way you can win election, you can take back this country from these guys. Okay. This disaster we are in now. We have to do it, and it's going to be done. But what's going on now is that the National Public Secretary is doing all they can. He's issuing memos, responding to issues. I, Atiku Abaka is doing the same. Polibe, his spokesperson, they are writing all the time. Every time uh, the, the, uh, the, the party, the government, does anything that is uh, uh, not acceptable generally, that uh, we protest, we talk about it. We are just not like APC in the days of Lai Mohammed where they even, the government, the, 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 the opposition, led by Tinubu and uh, Rotimi Amichi, even said that if uh, Jonathan wins the election, they will set up a parallel government. That is reasonable felony. Mm. We don't operate like that. Mm -hmm. We cannot operate like that. So if people expect us to do what they did to us in 2015, no, 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 no. We're not okay. going to do that. But we are going to try to do what Lai Mohammed did, which is massive publicity. It is difficult to do it when you are not... Uh, you know, you don't have the kind of resources that... Look, I, would, I was the first, well, one of the first people who went on national TV and said that it was like a week after the president spoke and removed subsidy that this is going to lead to economic crisis. I was at first... So we have been talking. Okay. Everything that's happening in the oil industry now, I think we've been responding. The Lagos uh, Calabar Coastal Highway... We protested, we wrote, we spoke. So Nigerians are seeing it on social media, they're seeing it in traditional media. We are going everywhere. So we may not be doing it the way they did it in 2015, but it's a different age now. Okay, let me bring in uh, Wale in uh, Amokoku, Lagos. Thank you for holding on. Good morning. I think I left it a bit too late. So, so apologies to you, Wale in uh, Amokoku. Oh. Uh, we lost that call. You know, from the things you were saying, I was going to ask you, 
what 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 would you say are the major differences between the ruling APC, for instance, uh, and its leadership structure uh, that perhaps PDP doesn't have, and therefore, you know, that's why it doesn't have as strong a hand as it uh, probably needs. First and foremost, you notice what happened in Lagos State when Tinubu was governor. He was in control. It took him a while. You know, first time he was struggling. Mm -hmm. That's why he was hacking a lot of people until he got full control. When he left office, the person who became governor was his chief of staff. You know, he anointed his successor. You know, we never had that. Okay. We never had that. Now, in Lagos, what are you going to say? He was in full control. We don't have anybody in PDP who's in full control. <clears throat> the national chairman of the party, <clears throat> by the constitution, should be the, is the head of the party in the country, is the head of PDP. But by our tradition, it has become the presidential candidate, it has become the president. Mm. Because we've had so many presidents. Mm. So now we begin to think that the presidential candidate, who is not even president yet, well, because he's a presidential candidate, he's become the leader. He's become the leader of the party. That is a totally defunct system. You cannot have a person. Now, the candidate is not a candidate anymore, and he's not the president. So he's floating. The only structure that's in place is the chairman, national chairman. Unfortunately, his powers are being challenged all the time by people like Wiki because when um, when Jonathan lost the election in 2015, he went back to his village so that there was a power vacuum and people like Wiki moved in. Mm. So really, it is difficult for Magu now to say, you know, because it, dealing with people like Wiki is almost like dealing with the president. <laughs> you see? I get what so, you So he has to be careful how he handles this situation so that the whole house doesn't come crumbling upon him. Okay. Let, Elder David, good morning to you, sir. Thank you very much, Ayori. God will bless you. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, 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 I'm listening to uh, Adeto Kumba Piaz. Yes. And uh, let me tell him that I joined PDP in October 31st, 1998. We are the people that work for Bato. Although I don't know when he joined PDP at that time. I joined PDP 1990, October 31st. Even when Olabo Day joined, respected one come to take over from, that is uh, Tarumi yes. in Akilo. I was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he took over, yes. So uh, for PDP, I'm the one of those who work for PDP. I rise up to so deputy chairman of PDP in Abim and that is correct. But whatever I say, I want to correct him for certain things. And he must know that the time of Obasa, your whom we work for, what happened in this country, I'm not playing for, we are not campaigning, that the worst government we have ever seen in this country is Obasa, your government and Atiku, who sold us 34 parastatas, where we are in 1998, where we are suffering to so all these problems are treated by Obasa, your and Atiku. And he must know that. And if everybody remember that Jonathan time, all this problem of uh, my book of Ramadan started, and he must know. And he must know that the same of Pastor George does not follow the law. The same of Pastor George bribe every, every other, but that is National Assembly, mm -hmm. 50, 50 million, each of them. So that is to extend his, that is to extend his, uh, his own existence so for the third time. He knows very well. He must talk in there. I don't know when he joined PDP. I still know him in PDP. And he should not be talking about the book. And that, that is, that is, as I just met in the book, that God has a day to rule this country. Trinbu has done his best. And when the PC come in, all the abandoned project of Pastor Joe, that is the one. That is what it is, the APC has completed. If not because of the APC government, all the whole pensioner will be created by that time. We will not be alive. We will not be alive talking to you today. That man should know about that. Because when he's talking of Tinubu, he should now appreciate what Tinubu has done. Within one year, 
We joined the pastor John by eight years in government. He never followed the law. Yes. Okay. Well, when thank you very there. much, Elder David. Appreciate your call. Everybody has their own. Yeah, I don't know what I said that is contradictory to what is. Did I say anything bad about Tinubu? This government is failing us in Nigeria. Okay. Whether now it's your government or not you, your government, it doesn't you matter. Of, you speak of the need to save the nation. Yes. And that is why 2027 is a serious, you know, uh, 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 target for, for you. the heart and soul of Nigeria. For the heart and soul of Nigeria. Um. So, so what, what, what exactly is it that um, everybody, well, not everybody, clearly, otherwise you wouldn't be saying that you're going to... Tinubu is in a... Uh, the Tinubu administration is, is working under very, very strenuous global conditions that Nigeria is a part of. So what is happening in Nigeria is not happening exclusively to Nigeria. What is it that you would do differently... Uh, is probably the first question that's going to be asked. Look, you see, because everybody is saying, bring back the subsidy. They bring look, back the subsidy. Listen, you see, I don't criticize just for sake of criticizing, and it's all about parties, about country for me. Okay. Tinubu made some serious mistakes. Such as? The first thing is the subsidy removal. You know why? I read the report from IMF. Nobody, ever, no international body tells you what to do. They give you advice. The advice they gave Nigeria was that you must remove subsidy, but simultaneously, hmm, simultaneously, you must fight corruption in your oil industry. Okay. Simultaneously, you must uh, decentralize your economy. You know, you must do the three things simultaneously, otherwise you're going to have serious problems. What did Tinubu do? He did one and left two. The one he did by itself is a disaster because you are not supposed Every country that has followed the IMF dictate of removing subsidy, devaluing their currency, have ended up in hell. So, he made a mistake. Yeah, He's but, only human. But, uh, he shouldn't have done it. Uh, then, uh, as sure soon as you... Are you sure was following the dictates of IMF? That was, the, that was the advice they gave him, which is, like I said, but he didn't do the other two things. Mm. Those two things must be done simultaneously. That's why... I, uh, that's why I supported Tiku in 2023, because of the idea of restructuring the country. The evolution of powers to the states. Tinubu knows this very well. He just caught up in the system now. I don't know if he has the will or the energy to do it, but he knows. He has said it before, actually. In this past year, he said it. Yeah. That he's going to restructure the country, but not now. He has said it. But this is what must be done. You must devolve power to the states as freight rating units. You must diversify the economy. We cannot depend on oil. You mm -hmm. understand me? Mm -hmm. we, the oil, the, whatever we get from oil is not enough. And God has given us so many other minerals that we can work with. Yeah. Lithium, gold, uranium, bauxite, bitumen, phosphate, all sorts. Okay. Then our agriculture can feed the whole of West Africa. We are not doing, look, we don't have a president yet that, so, that can do this work. Tinubu has failed in it. I can see the sign. I'm telling you now. He has done the wrong thing. He's on the wrong foot. And he's too involved in the economy himself. You cannot be involved in the oil industry okay. and hope that uh, there, will be, there will not be corruption. He cannot fight the corruption in the oil industry. Therefore, the economy is not going to survive. Okay, the only and if the economy that... doesn't survive, mm. security and the economy, they go together. If you don't devolve power to the states, our security will be in shambles as it is now. Okay. You cannot control security from the center. The only part of that that um, I would sort of take issue with is mm -hmm. that Tinubu was following an IMF script. Maybe not, eh? Yes. Okay. Maybe that, that was his policy upon his read of the situation. But, you know, I... I well, because, you know, 
So when he was writing in 2012 that uh, remove subsidies to destroy the people, he didn't know then. Okay, let me. You know that he wrote a lengthy article, very brilliant. Yes. It's like an encyclopedia of why you must not remove subsidy. Do you know we wrote it? Okay, let me bring on the last caller um, uh, in the program today. Kendi in Mushin. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Uncle Thank you for calling in, sir. Uh, it's quite unfortunate that the man on set is attacking the government and the personality of president. The PDP has a lot in hand to contend with. They should come together and unite the party. They have no direction as this now. Uh, more than other people in the party, they are calling for the head of the state. None of them have contributed immensely to PK. Half of the session has never left PDP at this now. Atiku, as it is, is coming in and out of party from AC, ACN, PDP, APC. He's only looking for room, platform to contest. He doesn't have leadership quality, leadership skills. Look at the problem in all the facets, all the states of Nigeria PDP states. Here is the leader who can galvanize to put the party in order. But he's looking again now for 2027 to contest. Ricky has put down his book best for the party. He's, he's talking about the constitution, the rules of the party. Follow the rules of the party, and the party will be fall in line. You have the rules, you don't follow it. You don't follow it. The, the primary elections that made the party to, to get out of the line is it, because they don't follow the rules of the party. Okay. And the, the STI chairman, the, uh, the, what was the name of this one from Benue State? You conducted uh, a primary. Are you? are you? Somebody lost, and you went to that other that person and you raised this person and saying it, it was the law of the party. Mm. It's when the guy that happened the, there. Of the and want, we, we, we get to afford his arms. And, and, okay. And let, 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 me, uh, let, let me leave some time for, you know, our guests to react to, you know, some of the th uh, things that you are saying. Um, <laughs> Because he's right. All I'm saying The rules of the party. Sure, sure, sure. Look, look, look. In but you have explained in that you need to lock it down properly. In 2023, we failed to follow the rules of the party because we allowed loopholes there. We shouldn't do that now. The purpose of risk reconciliation is to make sure. Yeah. That as we approach 2027, we don't make the same mistake again. We don't go against the rules of a party. If we go against the rules, there'll be problems again. And so one of the one of those ways is that whatever agreement you hammer out must be, you know, do everything. Solve that problem before, long before. But it doesn't seem to make the party a very, uh, quote unquote, nice place to be, where you have to bring all sorts of padlocks and all sorts no, of No, 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 no. You have to do that. Look. You have to do, do that. You know what they do? You know what they do in APC? I've been there in APC. Yeah? Uh, you may even have to swear an oath. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, because people will go and, and they will mess you up. They will fight you because you must have this thing in black and white. Okay. So that's the first step if we're going to sort this out. Well, I want to thank you very much, Dr. Dito Kumwa-Pierce. This was um, giving us an inside 